Pythagoras' theorem. You've all heard of it, but do you remember what it is? I sort of, uh, I don't remember it quite well. Uh, yeah, the triangle, right? Yeah. yeah. But do you know the formula? Yeah, C2 equals A2, A2 plus B2, right? I don't remember the formula. Yeah, it's two, um, they're two little pieces, I don't know the name is in English. I don't actually know what Pythagoras' theorem is. I'm sorry. Dos catetos al cuadrado son igual a la hipotenusa. He said triangle, so I'm going to say triangle. Triangle. Pythagoras' theorem is more than just about a triangle. It's about right angle triangles. Now, a right angle is the angle you make when you go straight and turn right. See? Simple. And Pythagoras' theorem is about the sides of a right angle triangle. Here's A side, and next to it is B side. And opposite both A and B is what mathematicians call the hypotenuse. See? So the relationship is... A times itself plus B times itself equals C times itself. Got it? Well, not if you can't prove it. And I'm not giving you a test here. I'm not a teacher. And I'm not asking you to memorize it. Stuff that. That's for engineering students. No, if you really want to remember this formula, all you have to do is understand it. And then you'll never forget it. I basically dropped maths in year 10. I was never really good at maths. I haven't uh, dealt with it for, for a little while. To be honest, I did cheat in my year 12 maths test. Well sure, everyone finds maths hard at some level. But if there's only one maths fact you learn this year, make a Pythagoras' theorem. Because it ends up popping up everywhere. Calculus books, like seriously hard calculus books, you turn a page and all of a sudden you're confronted with Pythagoras' theorem, hello. But not just on one page, you look through the whole book and then you end up finding it again. There it is. And then when you're looking at something completely unrelated before you know it, what comes up? Pythagoras' theorem, sneaky little bugger. But don't think it's just calculus, there's also algebra, where Pythagorean theorem is not that far into the chapter. I mean, you just have to go in a few pages, and then before you know it, there it is, Pythagoras' theorem. And even in physics, where you'll find one of the most famous formulas ever, E equals MC squared, Right behind it, in the pages preceding it, is a little-known fact called Pythagoras' Theorem, proving it all the way. Pythagoras' Theorem is to mathematics like Jack Nicholson is to Hollywood, or Paris Hilton is to slutty socialite magazines. They appear so often they end up being more famous than what they're in. But if Pythagoras' Theorem is so famous, when are you using it? Pity, really. Because Pythagoras' Theorem is a great way of measuring distances, from A to B. All you have to do is find out how far across something is and how far down something is it's and then just times those numbers by themselves, add them together and square root the total. See? It's brilliant. For stuff applications, who cares about that? Let's just worry about the maths. That's all that's important. Do you know how to prove it? How to prove it? Yeah. Uh... To understand Pythagoras' theorem means you have to prove it to yourself. And the way you can do that is by thinking of two squares of exactly the same area cut up in different ways. 28 centimetres, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, but what about yeah. the other side? Oh, yeah. That would be the same, it's a square. <laughs> he knows his stuff. So you take a square of length 7 and cut it by lengths 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, and 4, 3, and then join up the cuts. So you end up with four triangles and one big square. But then you flip two of those sides around, so it ends up being three, four, three, four, and then join up those cuts and you'll end up getting two squares and two rectangles. Now look at the shapes in both squares and see what you can make equal. No algebra, no letters, just play around. I reckon that line is the same as that line. Uh, I'd say, these, maybe these, oh, dope, these ones here, yeah, yeah. right on, <laughs> right on, sugar, and look, equal, bad. that's right, 
This plus this equals that. Can you see anything else? So the same length, basically, that's what I'm yeah. looking for. Something like that. We go with that. That's the half of this one. There you go. Cool. Correct again. That plus that equals this. But now that we know both these areas are the same, what can we deduce from this? What are the areas that are the same? Let me explain what I mean. Here's my map for Tasmania. Now instead of telling you what the area of Tasmania is, I'm going to tell you that the area of the map is 10 centimeters squared, and the area of the ocean is 5 centimeters squared. So how can you work out what the area of Tasmania is? Five centimeters squared. That's right. Oh, ha, ha. oh! That's right. You took one area away from the other. So now try doing that with our two squares. Take these two triangles and this rectangle away, and take these two triangles and this rectangle away, and what are you left with? So those two squares equal that square. There we go. That gives you that. So these two areas yeah, have to yeah. equal that area. Yeah. Wow. Pythagoras' theorem. That's awesome. Pythagoras' theorem. A times itself plus B times itself equals C times itself. The Babylonians knew it, the Greeks knew it, now you know it. What happens to you when you get drunk? 